Today's lesson will be graphing to solve a system of equations. Now, in your previous assignment, you had six problems like this where I asked you to graph to solve the system of equation. Okay? Now, what this means is that you graph both lines that are given to you, and depending on how your lines intersect or don't intersect determines how many solutions you have. Remember, if they intersect once, then there should be one solution and you should state that. If they never intersect, meaning that they're parallel to one another, that means that there is no solution. And then if they are the same line, so they're overlapping each other, then that means there are infinitely many solutions. But obviously there, there's so many to um, count that it would be ridiculous to have you name them all, so then we just leave it at infinitely many solutions, so you don't have to state one. Okay, so for these, solve the system of equation graphically. Label each line so that we can determine which ones you are, which ones you're talking about. Okay, and be sure to state the solution to the system. Now, this is on page three of guided notes. Okay, so please follow along and fill out your notes. You can pause the video to get that out if you'd like. Okay, once you have it out, start it again. So here I have y equals 5 plus 1 half x and 2x plus y equals negative 5. Now in your guided notes, you already have an x equal or x y coordinate plane set up for you. I just have to draw my own. Okay. So here you can graph these however you want. Um, I'm going to do it two different ways. The first one is set up for slope intercept form. So I'm going to graph it that way. Now I'm going to rewrite this so it looks more normal to me. So I'm going to put in mx plus b form. Okay, so that means this is one half x is my mx and five is my b. Okay, so that means what we talked about on Friday is that you you find and you graph your y-intercept, which is five. So I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five from the origin and graph my y-intercept. And then I'm going to use my slope, which is step two, from my y-intercept to graph another point. So it says rise over run, which is in fraction form, which is nice. So rise is one over a run of two. So up one over two. Okay, and I can go in the opposite direction if I would like. Down one to the left two. Notice how they're all in the same line. So then I graph my line. Okay, now I label, so this is y equals 1 half x plus 5 line, like it says in the directions. Then I'm going to graph this one, but because it's in standard form, I'm going to use my x and y intercepts. So that means that I'm going to plug in 0 for x, and I'm going to plug in 0 for y, and figure out what my values are. So if I plug in 0 for x, that means 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus y is y. So when x is 0, y is negative 5. Do the same thing for y. Plug in 0 for y. 2x plus 0 is 2x. And I'm going to divide by 2 to solve for x, which gives me negative 5 halves. Okay? Now you could also write negative 2.5 if you'd like. Okay? Here I'm going to use a different color for this one. So let's use green here. So um, 0, negative 5. One, two, three, four. Looks like I have to scooch down. It's right there. Okay. 
And then I'm going to go to negative 5 halves. So it'll be right about here. Okay, and I'm going to draw my line. Now, obviously, for this one, they cross at one spot. So there is one solution. But I need to figure out what that one solution is. Now, to make this easier, let's use our slope to help us out with both of these. So notice that this was one half. Notice that we went both ways. We went from our y-intercept, and we went up one over two, and we went down one to the left two. So let's continue that and mark out more points. So down one to the left two would be right there. Down one, left one would be right there. Okay. Now if I go with my 2x plus y equals negative 5 line, okay. Now I don't really know what my slope is, but I could probably figure it out by setting this equal to y. So if I subtract a 2x to the other side, oh look, it's in slope-intercept form, and my slope is negative 2. So from my y-intercept, which is that point right there, I can go down 2 to the right one, which would be in the opposite direction of what I wanted, or I could go up 2 to the left 1, up 2 to the left 1, up 2 to the left 1, and up two to the left one. Oh, it looks like they match or meet at that point. Now, because my drawings are not perfect, because I know that your pictures won't be perfect sometimes, that's what you kind of need to do to figure out where they intersect. So that point looks like it's going to be one, two, three, four in the negative direction, and up one, two, three in the positive direction. So my point is negative four, comma three. Okay, so that's how you problem solve to figure out where they intersect. Now, if you draw perfect lines, then you won't have to worry about that. Or if you always draw all your points out for the entire graph that you're given, then it'll be easier to see where they intersect. Okay, now if you move to the bottom of page 3 on your guided notes, it asks you to verify whether the given ordered pair is a solution to the system. If it isn't, explain why not. Okay. So what we're checking here is to see if the point given to us, in this case negative 4, comma 23, is going to work for this equation and this equation. Okay. So what needs to happen, because this is x and this is y, I'm going to plug them in for the x and the y's of these equations to see if they work. So if I plug in 23 into the first equation equals 15 minus 2 times negative 4. I'm going to see if both sides equal each other. I'm not going to move anything over. I'm just going to simplify this left side or right side. So negative 2 times negative 4 is 8. And then 15 plus 8 is 23. Check mark. That works. Let's do it for the other one. 23 is still my y equals 12 plus negative 4. Well, 12 plus negative 4 is 8. Nope, that doesn't work. So, because not a solution for the y equals 12 plus x line, therefore it's not a solution for both equations at the same time. So that would be my reason why. Okay, and that would be my answer because it's not a solution. Okay, let's try the other one. Number two says 10 comma negative two for these two equations. So I'm gonna plug them in as well. So let's plug in 10 for x plus three times negative two for y equals four. And I'm plugging this into that first equation there. So 10 is just 10 plus three times negative two is negative six equals 4. 
So 10 plus a negative 6 would actually give me 4, because 10 minus 6 is 4. So that works for that equation. Let's try the other one. So looks like we're plugging in negative 2 first for y equals negative 8 plus 2 times. We'll plug in 10 for x minus 7. Now, I don't do anything for the negative 2 or the negative 8 yet. 10 minus 7 is 3. Order of operations tells me to do that first. 2 times 3 is 6. And negative 8 plus 6 is equal to negative 2. Check mark. So they're both, so it is a solution. Yes, 10, negative 2 is a solution. Okay? Now, even though this, side, this equation got 4 equals 4 and this equation got negative 2 equals negative 2, it does not matter what those numbers are. It just matters that both sides of each equation are equal and the other equation, both sides of the equation are equal once I plug in that point. Okay? So it doesn't matter what numbers I get, it just matters that they're equal to one another. Okay? Now for a freebie, I'm going to do one of your problems for you that you have on your assignment. Number 9 says x plus 3y equals negative 3. And x minus 3y equals negative 3. Okay? So here I'm going to do what I did for the other one. Okay? Because they're both in slope or, or sorry, in um, standard form, I'm going to find my x and y intercepts. Okay? And I'm going to solve. So if I plug in 0 for x in this first one, 0 plus 3y is 3y. And then I divide by 3 to get negative 1. So when x is 0, y is negative 1. When I plug in um, 0 for y, 0 times 3 is 0. And 0 plus x is x. So I get negative 3. Okay? Now let's do it for this other one. So if I plug in 0 for x over here, so 0 minus 3y is negative 3y. Divide by negative 3, y equals 1. And if I plug it in for 0 for y, Then that gets me x minus 0, which gives me negative 3. Okay? Now let's plot those points. So if I plug in these points, 0, negative 1, negative 3, 0, I get this line. Okay? If I plug in these points, 0, 1, negative 3, 0, I get this line. Okay? Notice how they already intersect to one of the points you already know. So negative 3 comma 0 is your solution. And there is only one solution. Okay? Have fun.